first glance, it looks amazing. I'm feeling more shirt than the actual graphic. Dude, you see that stipple effect? It gave a nice grunge effect. It looks great. Today we're going to create a rock star poster design with a stipple effect in Photoshop, specifically for DTF printing. Let's start with our design and then proceed to applying the stipple effect. Let's create a new file with dimensions of 10 inches by 14 inches at 300 resolution and we'll be ready to start the design. This tutorial focuses on creating a striking rock star poster using stipple effects tailored for rockers, punks, skaters, and band enthusiasts. As we all know, rock stars are often associated with skull designs. Here we have an image of a skeleton playing a guitar, which we sourced from Midjourney. Midjourney is a fantastic AI tool that can provide inspiration for your designs. We will incorporate elements such as text to create a compelling rock star poster design. Unleash your design skills. Feel free to experiment by trying out different fonts that resonate with your theme. Remember the right typography can elevate your artwork and add a unique flair that captures the essence of rock culture. You'll learn to add intricate detailing and bold contrast, enhancing the visual depth and clarity of your designs for DTF prints. This technique not only makes your artwork pop, but also ensures it's light and breathable, perfect for showcasing your unique style. And here's our rock star poster design. Let's save the design as a PNG, then reopen it in Photoshop so we can proceed with adding the stipple effect. The first step in the stipple effect process is to duplicate the image by pressing Ctrl plus J. Then convert the duplicated layer to a smart object. Double click the smart object. This new tab is where we will create the stipple effect. Then go to image, click mode and select grayscale. Adjust the levels by pressing Ctrl plus L and click OK when satisfied. Here's the guide for adjusting the blacks and whites for stippled effect. Feel free to adjust it to your liking. For the fun part, let's add the stipple effect. Now go to filter, click filter gallery, and you'll be taken to the filter gallery dialog box. Here you'll see a variety of effects. Navigate to texture and select grain. Under grain type, choose stippled. For this design, set the intensity to 50 and contrast to 75, then press OK. Finally, save the file and close the tab to return to your original artwork. For the final step, adjust the curves as necessary to make the black color more visible in the design. You can do this by going to Image, Adjustments, Curves, and tweaking the curve until the black areas stand out more. Next, use the magic wand tool by pressing W, select a black area of the design, then go to select and click similar. This will select all the black areas in the design. Hide the current layer you're working on by clicking the eye icon next to it. Now go back to your main image. In the lower part of the layers panel, click on new layer mask. This will apply the selection as a mask to your main image, focusing the stipple effect on the selected black areas. And there you have it. Here's our Rockstar poster design with a stipple effect. Hey, superstars. I'm excited to share some fantastic updates from our website that will actually transform how you order and design your prints. We've always focused on efficiency and ease, and to continue that tradition, we're introducing a brand new auto build tool on our Gang Sheet Builder site. This tool is a game changer from our creative customers who want control over the designs, really quick inputs for their easy arrangement. With this new feature, you can customize your gang sheets exactly the way you want it, as quickly as you like. All right, we got our print. Let's check it out. All right, we got our print, and guys, I gotta say, it looks really, really good. Our designers did a really good job on this. Yeah, it came out so well. And you could see a lot of the stipple effect coming in use, as well as also just the knockout in general. They knocked out so much, so I like it. All right, let's see some measurements and then get this on a shirt. 
so the width is going to be about yeah, 10 and a half and then 14 and a half for today's blank, we got this large black shirt. It is a next level apparel brand with the model number of 3600. If you guys are looking for this brand, we'll definitely put a link in the description below. For our heat press, we have our Heatmaster Prisma, has a 16 by 20 layout, a 10 inch pullout, and has threading capabilities. So makes it easy for any type of project. Now let's get started. I did already set up the lasers to properly align this graphic. If you guys are interested on getting these lasers, we'll put the link in the description below. So first glance, it looks amazing. It feels great. I think our graphic designers did a phenomenal job. It really, but even more so, if you bunch this up, feeling how breathable it is, I'm feeling more shirt than the actual graphic, which I love. But even then, look at, the only wrinkles you see are from the shirt and not even from any of the graphic. It looks great. And then if you see up close to, you see that stipple effect that they've added to add more of like at a half tone, it gave a nice grunge effect, especially towards the shirt. Our graphic designers did a phenomenal job, guys. All right, let's close this out. All right, guys, we showed you how to create this rockstar poster, but not just that, we also took out the background and added a stipple effect, which added some half tones, which made it perfect for DTF. So we printed it out, slapped it on a next apparel. Now we got a shirt that I honestly would see at some rockstar events as well as also advertising your Rockstar events, which is huge, it's pretty big. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And if you guys are looking for a DTF supplier or just trying to replace your existing one, definitely give us a chance. Well, that's it for me for now. If you guys saw value in this video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, leave a comment down below.